Hi, my name is Ed McCoy. I'm with Hawkins Outfitters, and today we're going to tie one of my favorite flies. Um, I tie this in a variety of different sizes for a couple of different hatches. Um, this one is called the AP Spinner. Um, AP standing for all purpose. Uh, it's been a very good bug for me lately. Uh, the last few years it's taken a lot of good fish as well as produced a lot of fish. Um, I'll fish this sometimes just blind during the day um, as well as during a spinner fall or even an emergence um, in the afternoon. Um, basically what I'm imitating are Isonychia and Mahogany's. Um, so I'll tie this anywhere from a size 10 down to a 14. Um, this particular fly we're going to tie on a size 10 dry fly hook. Um, to get started, we use a wine colored thread. Basically, start right behind the eye. I want to get a good base of thread on this hook, but I'm not going to take it all the way to the bend. I'm going to stop just short of the hook point. Um, and this will help to keep your body from spinning, as we're going to do an extended body on this dry fly. So now we're going to bring it back just short of the eye of the hook. Um, I'm using 6 out thread on this fly. Um, I'll use 8 out on some of the smaller versions, but this will give me enough uh, tensile strength to basically bind down that material on the hook. Uh, body is basically going to be tied out of moose body here. So we want to get a decent clump, half the size of a pencil. And we'll come in here and brush out the short hairs and the under fur. I am going to stack this um, basically because I do want to use the tips for the tail when we're done. Put her in there and give her a couple taps. Okay. I'll tease out any more hairs that are a little too short. And if you're looking for thickness in the material, Somewhere in the rear third will give you a good idea. Is this is going to be the extended portion, but what you want as far as bulk and material. All right, now we're going to tie this in right behind the eye. I want to extend this body past and up, plus include tail length. So I'm going to go pretty long on this. So my tying point is going to be almost twice the length of the hook. We'll put it right there, around with one and a half loose wraps, cinch her down. Now this part's important. This is what's going to keep your body from spinning on your hook. So I'm going to wrap through this hair and let it flare a little bit, kind of help secure this body to the hook, like so. And we'll just leave that till we're done. So now I want to make sure I get all my hair around the body of the hook. We're just going to take our thread and wind it back just short of the bend. I'm going to go one complete revolution here. Now I'm going to pick the tail up with my fingers. We're going to come around once, twice, and a third time. around completely one time. Now I'm going to go the opposite direction, wrapping back towards the eye of my hook. And then crisscross my wraps coming forward. There. Now your body should be locked on that hook. If you do this first part, it'll keep you from having to use any kind of glue. Um, and that seems to be on there pretty good. All right, so now we'll go ahead and trim this off. Now I'm gonna leave the tail to the very end. So we'll just leave that right there. back in and secure all this and wrap back to about where we're going to tie in our wing like so all right so for the wing I'm going to use pair post 
You can use any color you want. I just chose chartreuse for this one. Now on these bigger size flies, I will actually triple up the material and use three strands. And I'll use two for the smaller flies. Right there. in and clean up this head. do is stand this post up again. So we're going to come around the base and behind it a couple turns and around the post. And we'll leave our thread right behind the post where we're going to tie in our hackles next. Okay, so we're gonna use two hackles. Now I want the hackle to be a little bit longer than what you would standard, use for a standard parachute. Try and get a matched pair if you can. If it's your first fly, just put them both up there. That looks good. Now get your sizing right. Let's pair these up. I'm going to strip some of that fluffy hackle off the bottom. So now, make sure you move your thread in front of your post. Swing this around. And all this does is just makes it easier to wrap your hackles. Alright, grab them both at the same time. We're going to start at the base, wind up. And then flare our hackle and start to work it back down towards the body of the fly. Kind of like to bounce my feathers as I turn. And we're going to go around probably five or six times. Tie this off. Finish here. All 
Okay, so now we've got basically a mess. We're going to clean this fly up now. So first thing we do is trim the post. Remember, you want to be able to see this in low light, so the height of the wing isn't that critical a factor. Make it shorter if you want or longer. Now, we're going to make this into a spinner, so what I want to do is trim the hackle front and back to give it a spent wing look. good now we're almost done so that completes that step now what we're going to do is split and trim our tail here so basically what I like to do is if you can see this we're going to flare the hair out try and pull some of these fibers to the side and I want to get my scissors right into the middle of all of this take it flush to that wrap snip I like to leave anywhere from four to six strands on each side of the fly. And what this will do is gives you a nice split tail profile, similar to a natural mayfly. And that's it, the AP spinner.